Also, Jeremy, uh, I've noticed uh, one thing when I was going through your portfolio website is that you your you have you got an interest in or uh, AR and VR technology. So, mm-hmm. like, and a big question for beginners right now is also how to get started into AR and VR. What to learn? How to uh, what tools can be used? So, can you explain that while sharing your uh, virtual uh, theater project? Virtual theater was a, basically a project that allowed me to combine my passion for movies with my passion for being with people. Um, and <clears throat> what I noticed is um, growing up, I was always separated from my dad because he was in the military and he was overseas for um, a lot of my life, actually. But we found ways to sort of connect unconventionally. And this was like pre-video calling, pre-all that stuff. Um, But we found ways to connect sort of unconventionally. And it was by watching the same movies um, and then talking about them while we was on the phone together or like through letters or email, however I was communicating with him. And that was sort of like the way that I felt kind of close to my dad during those times. Um, But thinking of that now, I think that, there's a lot of more situations where people are distanced from the one that they love. So whether someone's in the hospital for a little bit, whether you're in a long distance relationship, whether, you know, whatever the case may be, we're separated by, we're in a very global world and we're separated by miles and miles and miles um, apart. And so I thought to myself, how do you bring this sort of connection back to people and make them feel like they're together, even if they're not physically together in that moment. Um, And that, came to the idea of uh, virtual theater for Adam's Tickets. And uh, Adam Tickets is sort of a competitor brand of Fandango. Um, They're a movie ticketing service that focuses on streamlining the movie ticketing experience by making it you can do basically anything that you can do at the box office, you can do through the Adam app. And I really felt that they were, you know, this would be something they would be super interested in doing and also is viable for their brand um, because they focus on connection and they focus more on like movie going is not just a solo experience it's an experience for like a lot of people to come together. It's a moment of connection. It's a moment of sort of a shared experience. Right. And so how do we share this experience with people? Um, and I was like, that's great because you know, the idea I had was how do we bring people together and, and share this experience with them? And um, they had a similar idea to that. So I'm going to share the screen now. Um, That's all the stuff I just sort of mentioned. So what virtual theater is, it was a seasonal offering by Adam Tickets where they would be able to give a VR experience to anyone um, so that they can feel like they're close to the people that they want to be with. And this experience um, touches more than just of sort of like digital VR experience. It includes physical touch points as well to even make, to make it feel like you're actually in the movie more and more and more. Um, So these are sort of screens I designed, which was um, walking through the flow of setting up your box. And so um, in addition to the, the most important parts of the movie is not just going to see the movie, it's the snacks. And it's like, you know, the feeling that, you know, I have a large popcorn, I have my large drink, like my best friends here, like all that stuff is part of this experience. And I wanted to bring that to a virtual setting. It's um, about, so It's about building a narrative before even going for the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, the subscription box sort of works as you can select your snacks that you want. And your snacks, your candy, your movie, and it sends boxes to you and also the other person you're going to see the movie with. Um, And it includes those snacks and things. But it also includes little bits of the other person's snacks as well. Because I know everyone likes to eat each other's snacks and like share candy. Um, And I thought that would be an interesting way to sort of make it feel like you're getting a piece of that person with you within this box as well. Um, So each person receives a sort of care package and then it's showtime, which is sort of visualization of what it can look like in the onboarding experience of it all. Um, But I wanted to take it a step further. So when I was thinking about the virtual private rooms, I really imagined like what those spaces could look like. Um, And I went into character design and thought, okay, let's make this sort of um, robot-like character that can be the player, that can be the 
people's avatars. Um, but then also, how do we make this space feel like it's actually a home? Right. So I went through different sort of implementations of designing um, what that space could look like. And I used Cinema 4D to do that. Um, so I pulled some assets together, changed up the lighting, and just like recreated living rooms, bedrooms, like really weird spaces, um, and thought about where do people view movies at? And how do I, like there was also an idea for like a, a car, like if you're viewing a movie like in a car, like what would that look like? So just really like zany ideas to really bring people together and give them sort of these fun touch points. Um, but I took it a step further. So you can see right here is the, the bedroom sort of aspect of it all. But I took it a step further and I wanted to um, see how it actually can function in VR. Um, and so I used Unity and I plugged in the different assets and actually recreated the room and included like a trailer for a movie, um, used the VR headset and had people go inside of it so I can get a sense of like the scale and the depth and everything. So this was, these images are definitely before I made the Cinema 4D ones. Um, but what they gave me was a sense of scale, a sense of, you know, where things needed to be, a sense of just like mood and general vibe. So I took that feedback from the people that I had go through this uh, prototype VR experience and then applied that to my um, more high fidelity mockups. So you can see how it sort of like informed spacing and where the controls would be and like what you can do and depth and whatnot. So it gave me a further insight into, you know, change that I needed to make uh, moving toward. And I took that, you can see from these screens and put that in the Cinema 4D um, and sort of rigged that up. Thanks. So it was definitely a very like non-conventional way of, I wouldn't even say non-conventional way. It's just more of, of it was a different way of like testing and prototyping for me. Um, so I had never worked with Unity before this. And so the learning curve was definitely kind of steep. But once you realize um, how to sort of make those assets and put them in, it was super easy to get it rigged up and have someone come into the headset and sort of get to be around this space. And it also um, allowed me to sell my idea quicker um, because they were able to actually visualize and, you know, be in the actual space I wanted them to be in too right. as well.